I love software static analysis and other automation tools that you can put into your CI pipeline because they act as a continual watchdog on your software process. They don't tell you if your software is doing necessarily the right thing for the business, but it tells you whether you constructed it uh, in a reasonable fashion or whether you're meeting certain basic engineering guidelines, right? So software engineering actually should have some engineering practice. We're just going to talk a little bit here. Um, so a lot of times uh, now with our IDEs, we have heavy automation. Like IntelliJ is great. It's got all these inspectors and analyzers. It lets you do Java and other languages. Then we take that same code that we did in the <coughs> in the IDE that we analyzed and that we built and we ran some tests. We put that in our CI pipeline and we run that. If we still if we want to do like a sonar cube thing or we want some other quality metric, we actually have to run command line tools or build tools that hopefully overlap what we did in our IDE because the worst thing that can happen is you start dinging uh, code or, or marking the code up because of a CI build and those markup and that problems that were reported didn't show up or showed up differently in the developer's desktop, right? So what we'd like to do is make use of, like in this case here, I'm looking at IntelliJ with the integrated test coverage and the integrated inspections. What I want <clears throat> is to have some tool in IntelliJ that generates the same inspections, does the same analysis that we do in IntelliJ. I want it to happen in the CI pipeline, right? So if we're going to use PM, I'm going to do job example here. If you're going to do PMD, check style, find bugs, any of these tools, the IntelliJ or the IDE inspectors are actually really good and line up very well, but sometimes it's difficult to get them to exactly line up. You can't run the same find bugs config file, the same check style, check, check style configuration in your IDE, just in the inspectors that you're going to run in your build. So if we really want people to buy into this, what we need to do is we need to run the same tools in the IDE or at least make them available. And the way we do that is through plugins, right? So we can do static analysis plugins. I did another talk on QA plug. It lets you run check style, PMD, <clears throat> and another tool inside the IDE and gen generate results using a configuration file that would be the same one you ran for check style and PMD in your build. So here what I'm going to show is find bugs. I'm probably going to run it uh, pretty generic. So I'm going to load so FindBugs doesn't exactly exist as FindBugs or necessarily with the same config. Now, IntelliJ has a lot of great inspectors and you can customize them, so I'm not knocking that. And you can probably make this work. But the most reliable to make, make, way to make your developer workstation line up with your build is to use the same tool. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to I have my friend, the pet clinic, spring pet clinic example. So I'm going to go out and load the plugins for find bugs and then I'm going to show you how it works. So what are we going to do? We're going to do settings, plugins, and then I'm going to go browse the repos here. I'm going to say find bugs. That's what I'm going to do. I've actually used this tool before. I think find bugs is amazing. It finds all kinds of defects in my code. Kind of annoying because I should have found most of it myself, but it's a great tool. I highly recommend it to everybody if you're on the Java side. We're going to restart IntelliJ here uh, when we click OK to install this. Yes, please restart this. So it's really easy. I just went out to the th open repo list. It's not in the installed, right? Because otherwise I wouldn't have had to install it. So I went out to the open repo list, found a in find bugs, dash IDE, I mean idea, which I think was the best one of the bunch that I played with. And then I come back here and it's loaded. If I go into my preferences, settings. So this on a Mac, this would be a little different. I'm demoing this on a PC. We go to other settings. We look, we go, hey, look at that. That's the plugin config. And what we can do here is we can import find bugs config files, the same one we use in our build chain. Um, and then we can also export settings. So if we like made, worked with the find bugs list, decided what we liked here in the IDE, we could export it and then run it as part of our Maven build, for example. Um, so you can also filter out different files here. You can decide which detectors you're going to run. So this is actually what we would do. We would check on a bunch of these and then we'd hit the export button here. So let me click OK here and just show you what it works like. So this is Spring Pet Clinic. We're hoping we don't find any any find bugs problems here. If we come down here, so a lot of times you'll go into Analyze and you can say Expect Code. That'll run all the IntelliJ Code Inspectors. Or you can actually say Analyze, right? 
Like if you were running the um, the QA plug plug in with <coughs> uh, check style and PMD maybe. So instead, I'm not going to use inspect or analyze here. I'm going to go to the find bugs, and I'm going to say analyze all project files because I didn't highlight one of the modules. I could have highlighted one of the like a Maven module, and I will say yes. Include the test. No, I don't want to include test sources. Now, the reality is test code is being written by software developers. In theory, all their code should be the same quality. So a lot of people will actually run find bugs against test code. So we can see here um, that there are 100 air warnings, but none of these look very good. So let me see if I can find one of these. So what I would highly recommend when using find bugs or any of the other static analysis tools is that you make sure your code actually compiles and that you imported the project into IntelliJ correctly. Between the last time I demoed the pet clinic and this time, apparently I'd done a re-import and I don't know if I didn't import correctly with maybe not the Maven import or something, but a bunch of the imports were actually missing or they weren't pulled in correctly. So that's why find bugs couldn't actually compile the code. So uh, when they're doing static analysis, Find bugs may actually have certain knowledge about certain libraries, and therefore you want to make sure all those libraries are available to it um, so it knows what you're looking at. It knows which kind of library you're looking at and doesn't guess or doesn't flag a million errors. So let me show this again with uh, code that is actually configured and the project that's imported correctly. This is, now this is pet clinic and it's been gone over a whole bunch of times, so we wouldn't expect to see a lot of errors in the find bugs area. And we will analyze the module files. So I can analyze module or project. I'm actually going to pick project like I did last time and I'm not going to include the test files once again even though on a kind of a high performing project we do both and we look here what do we have we actually have a multi threaded correctness problem so you can see that we're using uh, find bugs found two bugs using find bugs plugin with find bugs 3.0.1 I'm going to click here make that go away I don't know I'm not actually going to look at this one here in detail because this multi-threaded correctness one's kind of an interesting, the detector tries to guess whether your uh, multi-threaded code is actually correct. And it also admits that it's kind of hard for this to do automated. So it's a good detector, but it does tend to cut into a few false positives. So in this case, I can show you what it thinks happened. It's actually going to show me the line where it thinks it has a problem. And then when you look in here, It'll actually give you the details. This is kind of cool, actually. It'll give you more of the details about that. So that just tells us that, uh, you know, it's a yellow, a medium kind of level bug. It tells us there's a weird problem here. And then I'm going to make this one go up. It tells you it's in inconsistent synchronization. So synchronization bugs are really hard to find. So it's not really a surprise that this class isn't sure. The analyzer is not sure how correct it is, but it wants to point it out. Um, and so it's showing you that it thinks there are fields that are accessed without synchronization. And in this case, it is call count is accessed in a couple places. Um, and it thinks it should be synchronized because there are places where the call count is set in other methods. And let me shrink this back down. And we can see that call count is actually a variable here. So if this class was multi-threaded, you might get inconsistent results. Now you'd have to know in your own code whether that makes sense. So that really, that's not really the point, even though I got hung up on the example. Um, the idea is that you can take find bugs, which is a fairly sophisticated static analysis tool, and you can run the exact same rule set explicitly, not embedded in the normal idea inspectors. And you can see what will happen on your builds so that your automated CI builds and your automated quality sonar cube and all that will show the same results you do in your IDE. And that's it, man. That's what we're going to here to talk about today. I've talked about it. I hope you found it easy to see how this plugin's installed and uh, what kinds of things it can find in addition to using the inbuilt IntelliJ inspector.